Welcome back traders to the channel. I hope everybody is doing well. Today I'm going to push again a concept that I do in all my videos which is portfolio. I believe that portfolio is much more important than any single strategy because portfolio basically combines the effort of many into one. My point of view is that a portfolio should be diversified across style and time frames instead of across uh, instruments. Although I do instruments, but I would leave that at the end. So today I'm going to show you this concept uh, in pr practical terms. Well, we're going to diverse first through time, uh, holding time period, and then we're going to combine it with uh, multiple instruments. And we'll see what will that accomplish. So let's jump in. Welcome back traders to Statoasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. Today's video is about the power of portfolio. I am a big proponent of portfolio trading. Basically, if you have any account, it's better to divide it on multiple strategies, multiple time frames, and multiple instruments rather than increasing your position sizing. Even if it's stocks, it's better to trade three systems that trade 10 stocks rather than one system that trades 30 stocks. So this video is an illustration of that uh, concept. So let me show you, this is the strategy context and I will build a strategy that I used before, which is a trend following strategy and uh, we'll use it uh, on Apple stock. So uh, let's pick uh, trade station and then let's go to stocks, pick Apple daily and then let's pick a fixed size of 100 shares and now we will build a strategy a trend following strategy which is the highest high so price high bigger than the highest highest high of 40 and we will exit when the uh, low is lower than the lowest low of 20 bars ago And that's just too far. Let's go, I don't know, 90, let's go 93. So January. January 93 till today. So this is the strategy. Here's what we want to do. So this one, the average holding bars in this strategy is 43 bars. So in order to diversify, I want to change this holding period. It's, so uh, the idea is to diversify your portfolio. Now I am a proponent of diversifying first with time frame or holding period instead of jumping to another a, uh, asset. So instead of trading Amazon and Apple on this system, I would rather start with trading Apple and Apple, but different systems, basically, by uh, by its correlation. And then once I have extra money, then I will jump into a different asset. And so here is what I'm going to do. This is holding now 43 bars. So you can see now if I go and change this one, let's double this. Let's go to 80 and exit on 40. So remember now, uh, this one is uh, 43.6 bars. Before you continue, please, I would like to ask you to hit the like button so Google can push it to other traders and this will help the channel a lot. And of course, if you like the content and would like to be notified, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when a new video comes in. And now it's almost double. Now we have doubled the holding period. So that's a totally different system 
than the one earlier. And also if I change this to uh, half of what we started, so we started with 40 and 20. So let's go with 20 and 10. And instead of 40 something holding bars, now it's 20 uh, holding bars. So you can see each system now has a different character. Although it's the same concept, it's just um, this is short trend following and medium trend following and long trend following. But by combining all of them, they are totally different uh, systems. And I'll show you that in correlation. But before we do that, let's first uh, do the other one. Uh, so this is trend following. Now I'm going to do a, uh, a mean reversion system. So let's do a trade station and let's do futures, ES. And let's do the same. So let's start at 2003. And here we will have one contract. Of course, there's no position sizing. As I said, this is just an illustration. So if we do a an RSI system to do the uh, mirror version, so I'll pick an RSI 2. Lower than 5. And we will exit when the RSI to hit 70. So this is a mirror averaging system on a futures now. And this one holding period is five days. So again, instead of doing the same system on the Russell or the Dow or the NASDAQ or any index, Let's, if we, once we have more money to invest, before even we started to trade two contracts or trade a different instruments, let's diversify on the same instrument. So now this, uh, this is RSI 2 and 5. So let's do RSI 5. And this is RSI 5 also. And now let's do it on 10. And let's keep this one as 70. So remember, this one has an average of five uh, bars. And let's run this one. And now this one is average period at 16 bars. And if I want to increase this again, let's do now 10. And greater than 20. And let's do this at 70. So this one is 16 bars. And now let's run the system. And now this one is 70 bars. Now I know, of course, we have less trades. It's still, it's just the, it's a different system. And I'll show you now when we combine them in a portfolio. So I saved all these systems and we can go to now to the retester. And let me load them. So these are the three Apple system and three ES system. And now if I combine them in a portfolio, remember this portfolio in strategy quant, it's, uh, it's not the code, it's just combining the trades. But of course you cannot do this to trade. Remember uh, in another video, I'll put the link in the notes. You need to do Monte Carlo on this portfolio to find out the optimum capital you wanna do. And that's neat. And the optimum uh, amount of money to start a portfolio trading is has to be done through Monte Carlo in a different package. Because if you do Monte Carlo here on this portfolio, it will act only on the first system in that portfolio. So you need to do it in uh, Quant Analyzer or in a different package. So again, so this portfolio now holding only the trades. But you can see now that the uh, Let's pick the portfolio. And you can see, of course, the portfolio performs much better. And if we go to correlations, 
you can see they're all green meaning they are not correlated in fact this one is red it's because it's inversely correlated that means that whenever the apple trend following 8040 makes a win the apple 4020 uh, either doesn't trade or makes a loss so it's completely inversely uh, correlated which is really good in a portfolio so you can see this portfolio is really good and even if you compare it computed on weekly or computed on monthly they're still all looking excellent so now i have six systems but only trading two instruments and of course i can increase this if i have enough data but the idea is in in portfolio first uh, diversify through the time frame and through the type of strategy before diversifying on the same time frame same uh, strategy on different instrument so i would much rather have three different strategies trading the es than the same strategy trading es and russell and dow uh, of course some people will uh, not agree with this uh, analysis but this is my experience it's much better you'll see if you test the correlation all the time you will see you will always get better cor correlations when you follow uh, this pattern which is time frame and type of strategy and then instrument and the portfolio is, is a very very powerful concept and as you can see here uh, of course you make a lot more money uh, this is the amount of money and these are the portfolios you can make a lot more money either with better drawdown or the same drawdown and uh, when we go to overview now the average is 33 remember we had 80 uh, days average and and uh, five days average but now the average for the whole portfolio is 33 of course it's it's already a good <laughs> a good portfolio but again you cannot trade this you have to do the proper analysis on the Monte Carlo to uh, find out the capital and the drawdown of this portfolio. So please keep this uh, concept in mind when you're developing your strategies. And if you have any questions, please do post them below or send me an email. I answer all questions. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it is, please do like, share, subscribe so Google can push it to other traders. And until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you soon.